like it's something that that feels good it makes sense it's non-intrusive it's intuitive and so just seeing that growth um, really excites me Ali Hussein Sarini is the CTO for Sabres Media, a software developing consulting firm, and Nautilus, a car wash management software startup. After switching his remote team over to Huli, Ali never looked back. Whether you're considering trying Huli for the first time or just looking for insights into how to best leverage the platform for your own work, you're not going to want to miss this conversation. Let's dive in. So let's jump into it then. Um, so I know that you and I have talked on another call before as well, um, but just for anyone who might be watching this in the future, um, maybe you can just start by introducing yourself and talking a little bit about the work that you're doing. Yep. So my name is Ali Hussein Sarini. I serve as CTO of Sabres, a GovCon consulting firm. And then I also serve as CTO of Nautilus, which is a startup that focuses on e-commerce infrastructure for car washes. Awesome. Yeah, I was super interested to talk to you some more because you're actually the first person um, that I've met who's using Huli for two like kind of totally different types of work. Um, so it's really interesting to see like how you're managing it all. Um, so focusing on Sabres to start with, um, I'm curious, what were some of the other tools that you were using before you decided to make the switch to Huli? Um, and what were some of the factors that contributed to you making your decision? Yep. So I think beforehand, a uh, big important for us is just async communication. So we would, uh, for documentation, we'd reach for something like Notion. Um, for virtual meetings, we'd use Google Meet. Um, and then for text-based communications, uh, it was typically Slack um, or some kind of very similar tool. And then because of the need for all the async tools, uh, we wanted something a little bit more centralized as it wasn't a lot of fun reaching for lots of different softwares um, that have different tool chains, different integrations. And so wanting to find something that was like an integrated virtual workspace um, was very much on the radar. And so we, when we saw uh, Huli, we knew we just like had to use it. About how big is the size of your team and are you all working remotely? Yep. So our team, uh, I guess combined across the, the two projects is five members mm -hmm. and fully 100% remote. Um, so that's why it was very, very important to have a, a good experience to keep the productivity up. Okay, cool. And you mentioned that you use Slack before. So I know a lot of people that are using Huli are interested in how they can um, replace Slack because right now Huli doesn't have a mobile app. So I'm wondering, mm -hmm. are you using anything um, to like use Huli on your mobile device, whether it's like the just using it through your browser, the Telegram integration or anything like that? Or if not, how are you using Huli as like a Slack replacement? Yeah. So actually, when, when I first started using Huli, um, the mobile support um, was very limited. And but now I've, I've recently started picking it up actually for mobile. And it seems that in terms of responsiveness, it's actually very solid. So what I have personally done is I have the bookmark of the actual Huli web page down um, and I'm just able to log in and use it. It maintains my state and view settings from my normal web browser, um, as well as the, the Huli <clears throat> Mac OS app. So it's genuinely a pretty good experience. Uh, the only thing I guess that it wouldn't have are notifications. Um, but if I just check it intermittently or I'm mostly on my, my computer, that's pretty much all I need now. Okay, cool. That's great to hear that that's all working out for you. Um, and you also mentioned that you're using Notion before. So I'm curious, um, we have documents and file drive in Huli in terms of like knowledge management. Um, but what are some of the things in documents in Huli that you've found have like been a good replacement for Notion for your team? Yeah. When, when we first started using Notion, it's very appealing to like want to rebuild like a whole project management tool in Notion. So then you'd have to like make a, a, a Kanban board, you have to make docs, you'd have to like pretty much come up with a whole structure of even how you want to use Notion as a team. And so the way Huli is structured is that there's like a dedicated chats tab, there's a dedicated tracker tab, and then there's the dedicated documents tab. So it's very easy to already have that separation of concerns of if I want to add something, I can add it where it's supposed to be added rather than like finagle um, and build something myself. But specifically on the the documentation uh, portion of it, um, I mean it's it's essentially everything you need. So it's Markdown editor. Um, there's some like the command palette with the slash. You can 
bring up lots of things. There's nice formatting because because it's marked down. You can have separators, um, and most importantly, uh, what I really like is you can add action items inside of Documents tab, and then it actually shows up on that person's uh, like tracking list. So it's very easy to actually like formulate your thoughts and have it integrated where it's supposed to go and where like makes the most intuitive sense. Yeah. So in that case where it's dedicated, it's nice um, and it's it's lightweight. It's not like super bloated or anything. It's not easy to get confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's great to hear that that's working out for you as well. So it sounds like you've actually been able to pretty much replace all of the tools that you were using before, which is really great to hear. And that's really kind of, um, you know, what we're hoping to accomplish with Huli, um, to bring all of the features of those tools into one place um, so that you're not, especially where you're working remotely and everybody has to kind of like sign up for accounts on multiple tools. Um, it's good to hear that that's been effective in like simplifying all of that. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm really interested in Nautilus because this, so this is a car wash related business, which is like super niche um, and really different from the kind of work that you're managing with Sabres. So um, for Nautilus, can you tell me more about like how you have Huli set up? So like, what are your workflows looking like? Um, how are you managing everything? Maybe you can talk a bit about the services that you're providing and how Huli helps with that as well. Yep. So with Nautilus, uh, it's a SaaS based product where we're working very heavily on development efforts as well as some lightweight marketing. And so what that typically looks like is uh, a lot of the typical development workflows as uh, an engineering team. So we utilize the uh, tracker or the Kanban board a lot. We utilize a lot of the labeling and tags that uh, Huli provides. So we're able to track whether it's a, a bug, we're able to track whether it's like a product implementation or integration. Um, and then most importantly, we've uh, have that integrated with uh, GitHub. So we're able to actually see those tasks. Um, when I make an update on GitHub, I'm able to see it down on Huli, as well as even when I push up a PR, we're able to see the Git diff directly in Huli, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a, a very unintrusive way of like communicating and working with a development workflow. Um, our team has, our, our favorite part that we've implemented is that we have an integration that we built ourselves where when we push up a Huli ticket, of course, it makes the issue in GitHub. And then once that issue is closed, everyone on the team gets like a little celebratory message oh, sent cool. to their phones. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like from top to bottom. Uh, it's, it's very great to see. I, I create an issue in Huli. Uh, the team works on the PR. We close it, and then we all get a text that like, haha, like PR is closed. Congratulations. That's right. Awesome. So, um, yeah. And it, it's great to have something like that works um, like that. And everything that we can do in terms of like managing a product team or product focused team that's engineering focused uh, is like seriously every, everything you need. Okay, cool. That's really interesting. Um, that's such a great idea to have like <laughs> a congratulatory <laughs> message. We're actually um, working on some ideas that are like these kind of like gamified reward type things that will be available in the app. Um, they're like totally optional um, add-on types of things. Um, so mm -hmm. a little bit of that in the works as well. So it sounds like your team might be one that would really enjoy <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's, it's good to keep the morale up. It's, it's uh, <laughs> nice to have. Yeah. Um, I know we talked also um, in our last call about some of the things that we're working on for the future of Huli. I know that you're very kind of tuned into like things that we've put out on our blog and social media about, you know, kind of teasers for the future. Um, so I'm curious, uh, based on everything that you know about Huli and where we're headed so far, what to you is most exciting about the direction that we're going? I think I'm most excited to just see the product get better and better each day. Um, I really do love like logging in and then maybe seeing like perhaps a new tab added or something that I've been wanting to see like added. So for example, um, recently there was uh, in documents, you can have like a free canvas and you can sketch or diagram out as well as like mermaid diagrams. And so just seeing like the feature set be developed, um, especially as an open source project, like there's like a lot of growth um, that I'm seeing it move into more and more. And it's, it's just great to see just the entire future of it. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm most excited for is just, I think more people adopting it. <laughs> I think it'd be excellent. Um, like when you sent me the uh, Calendly link 
like it would be great to see like open in Huli or something like that and just yeah. see more widespread adoption of something like a virtual office um, in the industry as a whole, mm -hmm. where like it's something that that feels good. It makes sense. It's non intrusive. It's intuitive. And so just seeing that growth um, really excites me. And I love the tech stack that you guys use. A lot of the front end was built in Svelte, I believe. Um, yeah. So just modern technologies. Um, it's a new take on what this stuff is. Um, it's open source. I really enjoy the core maintainers and the team and the work that you guys put out. Um, so all in all, just great potential, I, I think, where Huli is going. Yeah. Um, that's, that's really good to hear. I think that, you know, in terms of growing and reaching more users, it's been interesting to see the evolution over time because we kind of started out with individual users. I mean, it's kind of the way it is right now where you have individual teams that are on their own workspace, but the more people that are adopting Huli, the more we kind of feel like we're going in the direction of more like community based where you can have like interactions between workspaces or even have, um, we're working right now on the global users. So basically being able to have like a Huli account and interact with like even communities on Huli, um, not even necessarily workspaces to kind of expand like the offerings that we have um, and being able to like, you know, invite people who might not already be on Huli into a meeting like we're doing today. Um, so yeah, a lot of potential in that area. And actually that's a great transition into the last question that I had in mind which is, um, you know, Huli is, we're, we're an everything app. We're, you know, going in a direction where Huli will be able to be used in any kind of field and industry, um, and it should be able to be used by any kind of team. Um, but, you know, right now, the way that the product is, maybe it's not everyone's cup of tea, um, mm -hmm. you know, where it is in the present moment. So, from your perspective, who do you think Huli is perfect for right now? Um, there might be people watching this who are kind of like on the fence or they're just learning about Huli and they're not sure if it's for them right now. Um, so who would you like recommend Huli to? Yeah, I think I would recommend Huli to, most importantly, I think people who are just interested in finding out what's better and what's new in the project management space the async communication space. I think very specifically, if you are an async team who relies on a lot of different tools, um, like Slack, for example, uh, Linear, Notion, Jira, all that stuff, um, what they're all each having their own complexities. I think taking a, a step back and just seeing what's new out there since Huli's new offering um, and being uh, an early adopter of it and just taking a look, even if it's not something, whether you have the full control of your company or in your own personal case to fully adopt it, um, it's always great to just see what else is new out there. And I think, again, if async communications, remote teams are your thing, um, the ability to hop in a meeting without sending a link and everyone can just join into it and then directly send messages and then also have a, a dedicated drive, like all, all the nice things of working async and being productive, um, anyone's perfect for that. Um, and then specifically, I think if you're, uh, very passionate about open source software or believe in like what a big <laughs> development team can do uh it, it's great for that as well just seeing the product grow all right great um well i think we'll wrap it up there it was really great to hear your thoughts and perspective um definitely appreciate it i'm sure that there are a lot of people who will listen to this and hopefully find some inspiration um or you know motivation to maybe make a switch or try something new so yeah i really appreciate it thanks for your time yeah, of course I'll go. If you have a story about how your team is using Huli, I'd love to hear from you. Join our Slack community or reach out by email to get in touch. Thanks and see you in the next one.